the people that are going to focus on marketing and I don't mean just paid marketing, but just marketing your business, your products, your shop are the ones that are going to succeed. Here's the way that I see it. Now, again, this is our perspective, but I'm also using my thoughts, the plan that we are using because that's what I'm doing here. I'm just sharing what we've done. But I believe that if people are going to use this type of of opportunity and this plan, I believe they're going to stand way ahead of everyone else that's just coming in, flooding the marketplace that's going to be coming in and then leaving or coming in and trying to sell a whole bunch of different t-shirts and mugs and things like that. So this here, there's two things. There's two things and they're big. They are big things, but the two things are this. Number one is building a brand. And you might be thinking, what is that? We're going to talk about it, but it's building a brand, a cohesive brand, all right, that can sell multiple products to the same customer. And there's a, a lot of different reasons why that works. It leads me to my second thing, and this is a big one. And I believe that in 2024, the ones that take advantage of this and the ones that learn this and implement this will stand way ahead of everyone else. And that is marketing. Now, what does that mean? Marketing, brand and marketing. I look at it like brand plus marketing equals success because there's a lot of people that are just going to throw up products and expect that they're just going to get the SEO gods to give them the Etsy SEO gods, by the way, that's going to magically let them appear at the top of the search. And then they're going to be able to get traffic and they're going to be able to get sales. But here's the truth. Everyone's going to do that. And everyone's going to be slapping up products, right? With no cohesiveness to it, no brand behind it, no products that are similar, uh, no repeat customers, none of that stuff. And when it comes to marketing, there's nothing there other than what you get from Etsy of listing a product. That's the only marketing. And we can just take it one step further. And if you were to utilize, which a lot of people don't, is Etsy ads. That's one piece of marketing. That's one small piece of marketing that Etsy allows you to use, but there's so much more that we can do outside of Etsy, but there's that one piece. And so many sellers will say, I'm not going to do Etsy ads right now until I start making a profit. Why is that a bad idea? Chris, why don't you, why don't, why don't we stop there and time out for a second? And why don't you tell me why that is probably a bad idea? You throw on the challenge flag on this one, Scott, to go back to the NFL reference. The reason you shouldn't be waiting is that one, to get traffic and sales, you need traffic and sales. And the best way to turn that on, best way to start to get that is by driving traffic. Especially if you're just getting started, you don't really have many ways of doing that. You can either use the, if I, you know, if I launch it, they will come approach and that'll take you three to six months. You can send email if you have an email list, or you can turn on Etsy ads and start getting traffic right away. Even if you don't get sales right away, you can start to see what your product is relevant for. You can start to give Etsy some of that good SEO juju from day one. And more importantly, Scott, you get the data back. So you start to see what keywords people are typing in to find your product. You get that information essentially as soon as they start running ads and people start clicking on them. That then lets you start to understand, okay, if somebody clicks on water bottle, they buy my product. If somebody clicks on mug, they don't buy my product. I should be optimizing more for water bottle. And that helps us shortcut the giant traffic part of the flywheel that comes once the organic stuff starts to pick up. But if you're waiting to turn on ads until you get to a certain number of sales, you get to a certain level of traffic, or Scott, the one that drives me the most nuts, I need to have five, 10, 15 products in my shop before I turn on ads. You should not be. As soon as you launch a product, you can turn on ads. It's not too soon to do it if you want that data back. Scott, the other reason people tend to wait is they say, I want to get a couple sales coming in and I want to start to build up, you know, 20, 50, $100 worth of profit that I can roll back into ads. What are your thoughts on that as an excuse? So basically waiting to get profit to roll them in. Here's the way that I think about this. Are we starting a business or are we trying to go out in our yard and put a little yard sign in there because it doesn't cost anything, but yet uh, we wanna sell coffee like three miles down the road, right? Like we gotta go where where the people are and we have to get in front of those people. Probably not gonna put up a billboard for free, 
You're probably not going to be able to advertise in a newspaper for free. So to get the attention, we need to think about this as a business. What business owner thinks that they're going to start a business and not invest money in marketing? Now, there's a lot of people that do, but you can also see that a lot of people don't get any sales. And they're like, well, I, I started, uh, you know, I started three months ago and I put up 25 products. I got no sales. There's a couple problems there. Number one, it could be because you're just not getting in front of those right people. Or secondly, it might just be, you're not creating really good products, you know? So it's, it's like, we can look at it that side too, but if you're not getting traffic, you can't determine if people aren't buying your products if you're not getting the views, right? So we have to fix that problem. So I don't know if I answered that correctly, Chris, or, or what you wanted to get from me. But my point is, is you have to spend a little bit of money to get eyeballs. So the, the objection, I know that we will get to that line of thinking or the, the thing I know a lot of people will think, Scott, is that we are then saying that means organic traffic doesn't work anymore. What are your thoughts on that? Right now, if I was to pull up our stats, I think we spent about $3,600, something like that, $3,700 on Etsy ads. And you might be like, whoa, Scott, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. Those ads directly brought in about $12,000. But our Etsy shop has done overall, today I just checked, we're at 38 k for the month. So let's kind of look at this now. We've got... Spent $3,600 on ads. It, it did great as far as a return on that, on that money, right? So now we're at, uh, what was that, 12000 But we got how much more organically? Now, you might be saying, well, yeah, you would have gotten that if you didn't. No. The way that we're looking at it is, is like the more sales that we can inject into our products, it's going to bring us up in the search. So this way here, anytime that people are searching for something that is closely related, Etsy's going to go, this thing sells a lot, put it in front of them. And that's your organic side. So that's how you need to think about organic. So many people are like, I'm just going to create my listings. I'm going to optimize the crap out of them and they're going to rank and I'm going to, I'm going to make a million bucks. Not how it's going to work. The way that you need to to think about SEO is SEO. Yes, you need optimization. You need all of that, but you need sales because Etsy is going to look at a hundred listings and go, what ones have the most sales and the best conversion rate? Those are the ones that we're going to put at the top. That's how it works. And now that you know that people like me and my wife and Chris, we're looking at business this way. How are you going to compete with other sellers that are doing this? You see where the marketing comes in. You see where the marketing mindset comes in, the, the strategy behind it. When you start competing with those, it's going to be real hard to compete. But once you get that momentum, it's like you're, 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 co you're coasting in a sense. Organic traffic is still a thing. What we're trying to do is shortcut that process, right? Because Etsy doesn't know quite where to put a new listing in the algorithm. And if we can give them the data they want, which is two pieces of information, traffic and sales, right? How do we shortcut that process? By driving traffic and sales. How do we drive traffic and sales? We turn on Etsy ads, right? That's the easiest way to do it. And Etsy themselves will then start to show us the data and say, hey, when you are shown for a water bottle, people click and they buy. When you're shown for cup or mug or whatever, people click and they don't buy. So we're gonna turn that off in Etsy ads. And then we're gonna go back through our listing and make sure that we're not talking about cups and mugs and all of those kinds of things in the listing because that traffic on the organic side is probably going to be garbage too if we're selling a giant water bottle. So all we're doing is shortcutting that process. Instead of waiting three to six months to start to bring in enough traffic to be able to make data-driven decisions, we can shortcut that down to a few days or a few weeks depending on the demand for the specific product. And if we're launching something, especially right now, we're getting a lot of data very, very, very quickly. And it's got, I think you sent me a screenshot. I think it was for, from Black Friday to Cyber Monday yesterday morning. And it was like a seven to one return on ad spend, right? People say that's the worst time of the year to run ads. Well, we had a ridiculous return on ad spend. And I sent you a, a comment and said, we better turn it off because we're just wasting money, right? Even if it's just the four to one, I think that you were talking about, you said something about like $3,000, $3,500 and somewhere between 12 and $13,000 in return, right? That's an insane return on investment from a pay-per-click standpoint. But we're not even looking at that. What we're really looking at is the $38,000 plus dollars that is the total because that is a result of us getting the data back faster and being able to monetize more quickly 
and optimize more quickly by turning those ads on. And Scott, one more tangent. What happens if they don't have a ton of money to run into ads? Like, is this doable on a few bucks a day? You know, we're, we're talking about spending $3,000, you know, like a hundred bucks a day. Do they have to spend that much to get the information back? Or what's the, what's the deal with that? No, we actually, uh, and I'm not promoting it here, but I'll mention it. Uh, we have an Etsy ads accelerator uh, training. We did a workshop where we break everything down. You can start with as little as two bucks a day. And we have just this year is when we started to go all in on Etsy ads and we started to really see a great return. Okay. Not just on the front end, because when people look at Etsy ads, they look at, okay, I put a dollar in, I need to get $2 back. Uh, or at least get my dollar back. And yes, we want to do that, but we look at it differently. We're not going to get into all of that, but the way that we do look at it is we look at how many customers did we bring in? And because we're building a brand, as I mentioned earlier, with multiple products that these people can buy, number one, we're going to have a higher cart value. So people, instead of uh, buying one thing, they can buy three, which we have happen all the time. And then you also have people that can come back and buy in the future, which we also have because we have an email list, another piece of the marketing, by the way. And now we can send an email and get people back over and do all of that fun stuff. So we don't look at Etsy ads as dollar in, $2 back. We don't look at it that way. Uh, but if you're just starting, and we did this, two bucks a day, and you're going to start getting data. You're going to start getting eyeballs on your listings to see how they're converting. And if they're not converting, now we've got another problem that we need to address. You see, we can't, we can't tweak anything if we're not getting eyeballs. If we're just sitting around waiting Oh, we got five views yesterday. Okay, cool. No one bought. Five views isn't really enough to determine. I want to get 100 views, 200 views. And how do you do that? You start dollar, $2, $5 a day to test it. Our recommendation is if you can go 2 to $5 a day for the like five to seven days, you're going to have some data back to start making some decisions. So to me, in 2024, those two things, brand, and what do I mean by a brand? It means that you're focusing on a niche or niches that are tightly related, okay? And you're creating multiple products. So if you think about it, like I'm going to create a product for this customer and I'm going to create three more for that customer. And then whenever I'm thinking about another product that I want to add to my catalog, I'm going to think of that customer. And so I'm constantly building out this this catalog of products that this customer can buy. And that's going to help when people are coming to the shop because they're going to buy more now right off the rip. And then they're also going to be able to come back and buy more in the future. Or when we create a new product for an upcoming holiday, we can message those people because we have their email address. Having the brand piece is really important. If you did this and you're just selling random t-shirts, like I'm going to just sell t-shirts and mugs. The typical thing. It's not going to work. You can do all the marketing you want, but you got to find all of these different types of people that might like these different style of t-shirts, but the chances of them buying more than one thing is very low. And they're probably not going to remember your brand and they're probably not uh, going to be coming back. And I'll, I'll say this. I think Etsy is going to really, really favor the brands. Why? Because they're going to be doing more volume. They're going to be more cohesive. They're more serious. Like Etsy wants their platform to be of serious brands, all right? So brand plus marketing equals 2024 success.